guys, today I will be reacting to Hades, Misguided, Season 2, Episode 5, Rob, Duck Hunt, and Mr. Game & Watch. So, let's go on, shall we? Ooh, Mario Party 4! I love this game! Alright, nice job, Pit! I needed that to stay in the lead. Ha ha! Well, I'm in the lead now. Nice one, Pit. Oh, now it's my turn. Woo! Hey! Hey! Can I play with you guys? No. Did you guys hear something just now? Uh, no. No. Must have been the wind. Nobody cares, Pandora. Thanks for coming to play some games, Lucina. Thank you for having me over this. Especially since our last date in Antwerp. Yes, I got an extra 20 coins. Go me. All right. Time for a mini game. Sweet mini game time. Yes, it's a one versus three match. Us against Pity. Oh, no. Don't worry, Pet. You got this one. Just have fun, okay? Do the best you can. Um, Pit. Pit. It's saying to press the start button. About to say, you gotta start the game. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Everybody, quick! Gang up on Pity right away! <laughs> yeah, Pit! Let me crush you! Uh, no, oh, God. Thanks. I'm gonna run over here! Oh, Pity, I've got something to show you. If it's a giant foot, I'm not interested. <laughs> hey, guys. Can I play around sometime? No! Oh. But Mom said it was my turn to play Mario Party. Uh, no, I didn't. You guys always think you're better than me. I'll show ya. Hey! So, now you guys got no stars. Later. Well, so much for that. That's what I said. Let's go B stars and get the show started. Well. Jerk. Come on, Pet. Just a second. Sorry things didn't work out again, Lucina. It's all right, Pet. At least your mouth isn't on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, see you around, Lucina. Let's hang out again soon. Go be a star now. See ya! Aww. That's my second ship with Pit. That's so sweet. Oh, it's that retro robot again. What's up with this guy anyway? You of all people should know by now, Pity. Rob is the world's first and only robotic player, too. Yeah. And the last of its kind. The last of, of its, its kind? kind? Oh. If you need a refresher pit, Rob was the last of many robot minions that the survived the subspace Space Army. attack. It is quite a shame to see so many of its brethren get blasted away to nothing but nuts and bolts. I can imagine the sorrow in Rob's lenses. Can robots even feel sorrow? Well, that though, Pit. You need to get so sentimental. I must admit, Rob must be strong if he was able to survive such a forgettable adventure. It's yeah. It's just a shame he's more capable on the battlefield than he is as a novelty toy. Rob is also a toy? That's so cool! He was I back in the 90s. Oh, please, Kitty. You're not marketable enough to have that luxury. Just stick to your niche AR cards. Although you did have an amiibo once, and that was pretty impressive. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good doggy? Careful, Pity. You know that the duck hunt dog is all bark and all, all bite. bite. But the dog is too cute. But I know. I'm great with dogs. In True. fact, I was once a dog. I bet the two of you could sniff each other's butts all day long. <laughs> you know, that Hades. dog is more than a butt sniffer. Yeah. In fact, duck hunt is an icon when it comes to animal rights. Oh boy, here we go. The nature freak rallies once again. Excuse me, but how would you feel if you were being shot at? I mean, I was. So you know how it feels when all those poor ducks are being shot at. Yeah. At least it's liberating when the dog laughs in the humans' faces when they miss. Yeah. I, I hated that. The original troll of video game history. I admit, the doggy has a special place in my vile heart. Huh. So, how about some fighting tips? Hades? And betray Mad's best friend? I don't think so, Pity. Why not worry about getting shot at from the other member of Duck Hunt? Oh, yeah. There's a 
there's another member. I always wonder who they are. Who can say? It could even be me. <sighs> Hades, I so doubt it'd be you. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. No, it's more like beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. No, Pit, you're thinking of beep, boop, boop, bop, boop, boop, bop. Do they all suddenly turn into robots? That's what I said. Listen, the early years of video gaming were limited, Rosebud. There's only so much noises a paper craft like Game & Watch can make. At least he stayed true to form all these years. Tell me about it. He it's stayed the same. He can move around all 2D. Wow, Pit. I'm amazed you knew what the word astounding was. And used it in a complete sentence. Heavens. He's getting better at his English lessons. Thanks to a certain goddess of light. Thank you, Palatina. Hey, this is not the time to flash out the report cards. Pity, it's time to show the 2D chump what 3D chumps are made of. Mm. Aren't I at an advantage, though? I'm about to say, curious um... how you may think that. Mr. Game & Watch takes inspiration from all his games. He's what you call a wild card. That's true. He can even turn into a giant octopus if he gets the smash ball. That is so true. What is this, Splatoon? Not really, but By good way, call. Can you guess my favorite number? Oh, it's, uh, 69. <laughs> You're half right. It's the number nine. If you want to know why, have Mr. Game & Watch display the number right above him. I'm sure he'd be happy to show it off. Yeah. Sounds great! Clueless as ever. That's We're what I said. still working on that. Thanks! That wasn't simple enough. Well, hello once again, all you lovely little deviants out there. Thank you for once again watching the latest episode of Hades Misguidance. If you liked this episode, but let's be honest, why wouldn't you? Hit that little thumbs up button down below. If you're a new watcher and are thinking to yourself, I would do anything to see more of that tall, dark, and deadly charmer, mm. then click subscribe and hit that bell icon for more notifications. Speaking of hitting things, I'm off to go beat Pity into a pulp until he sees stars. Maybe it'll remind him of the stars that he robbed me of. <clears throat> Ciao for now, my lovelies. All right, a few more left. Doo -doo -doo. Well, I'm going to stop here, guys. See ya.